Uh, Mr. Pinter, I'm going to ask you if you would, um, since this is an ordinance changes, if you would open up the meeting, uh, give the committee and the members here a brief description. The new ordinance would permit the enforcement of exterior housing blight in Danbury. Uh, the city already has an ordinance now, which you adopted uh, probably five or eight years ago, for residential housing blight, houses as structures. This ordinance would propose to, to be a sister of that ordinance to allow for the enforcement by the unit, uh, Sean Stillman's department, uh, to enforce exterior housing blight. And the ordinance has provisions in it which tells you what is intended to, uh, to enforce. Let's just, let me just get you a couple of highlights of the ordinance just so we can see what the plan is. And by the way, this ordinance in numerical form follows upon the blight ordinance that's in place now, so it's kind of easy to track. In fact, much of the language is, is similar. The dissimilarities include that number one, we're enforcing outside blight. Number two is that the unit is doing the enforcement. And, and number three, that there are some provisions in here regarding being able to lean property that are a little bit different, not vastly different. But the first two are the, the main differences. Um, if you look at the first page of the ordinance, uh, again, the mirror of the existing blight ordinance is that this is being created to deal with blighted exterior portions of the premises. There are definitions that follow, which if you if you look at those, these are the items that that we've been told and that our personnel have encountered to be problems as a result not only of the economic times, but also of people, uh, it includes uh, foreclosed homes, which involve banks and others, who are either unable or unwilling to maintain the properties in a fashion which creates safe conditions, healthful conditions, uh, properly maintained properties. And it's important for neighborhoods to at least have a system in place. This is not a SWAT team. This is, uh, the intention is not to just go out and you know, with a bunch of people and go on to somebody's property and say, here's, you know, here's everything that's wrong. The intention is to, to have an available system so that when the unit or others observe that there, is a, there are conditions in a residential property in the city of Danbury, that they are, the unit is fed information from other departments. Uh, the ordinance provides that there's a list created of those properties which need attention. That list is channeled through Sean's office. Sean and his department personnel will go out. And in the course of their normal inspections, they can also do ad hoc inspections. So they would drive in the neighborhood, they would see that there's a problem, and they'd make their own list. They'd observe, they'd make notes, and then the follow-on policy would be that there's then the issuance of warnings to the potential violators, followed by citations, which include fines. We're going to make a change to the fine amount. We've, we've uh, discovered that the maximum fine permissible for a blight citation is $100. So we're going to change the $250 to $100.